Okay, guys, it is Fan Mail Friday again. This picture looks a little bit blurry to me. I hope it really isn't. I hope it's only because I'm not wearing my glasses right now. As you can see behind me, like I said last week, we were going to have some different posters up here. And if you want to see those in their entirety, make sure that you join me tomorrow night for a Saturday night snack and a movie. This week, we are doing Hop for Easter, and we are going to make... Rice Krispie Treats that are rainbow colored, like colored eggs, and they're also shaped like eggs. So that ought to be pretty dang fun. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We've got a big box, a little box, we got a big envelope, and we got three, one, two, three, four smaller envelopes today. I want to make sure I don't show anybody's addresses on there. Um, I know one of these is from William. Last week you were wondering if yours made it yet, and it is here today. We have another one coming from Carla, who um, sent me a message and said that it's coming today in the mail, but it hasn't arrived yet, so maybe by the end of this video it will. But let's go ahead and get started here, guys. This one comes from Brooks, and it looks like from Michigan, Livonia, Michigan. I've never heard of that, but okay, let's go ahead and get this open and see what Brooks has sent in today. I absolutely love doing these Fan Mail Fridays. If you guys want to send me something, the address is always down below in the description. So let's see. Okay, we got a couple of stickers here. We got some pictures. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. Okay, let's do, <laughs> let's do the letter first. It says, hi, Nate, my name is Brooks, and I am from Howell, Michigan. I'm four years old, and I'm a huge fan. Hi, Brooks. I drew a picture for you. It's some of my favorite characters. And I'm going to hold it up here <laughs> as I read, because there's a description. So here's the picture, and it says, from the left, Rainbow Huggy Wuggy, Sam's Head, Chain Chomp from Mario, Crouchy, Michael Myers, Hugs the Clown, and Little Skelly Bones up on top. Okay, and then it says, here are some pictures of me from Halloween last year. And it is Brooks dressed as Ghostface coming out from behind a tree. How cool is that? And then it says, uh, also, thanks for the cameo video. You loved my Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt. I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. In the envelope, I included two of my favorite Mario stickers, your friend Brooks. And here are the stickers, and here's Mario and Gang. I'm kind of far away from the camera here, and these are smaller stickers, so. And there is <laughs> Mario riding Yoshi, it appears. Those are awesome. I love the picture. Thank you so very much, Brooks. So awesome. I'm going to save it forever. Okay, let's move on to the next. Have fun with your Easter bunnying. All right, the next one we have here is from the Jones family in Berwick, PA. All right, let's see what we got going on in this yellow envelope here. It's an Easter bunny card. Here's your Easter card. <laughs> okay, then it says, Nate, hope your day is lots of fun. Sincerely, I think that's Tyrone and Diana. I hope I got those names right. We enjoy your videos and look forward to seeing new videos. Thank you so much, Tyrone and Diana. So let's keep on moving here. We got one, two, three, four more. We're going to save the boxes for last, guys. So this envelope comes from Stryker in Somerset, Ohio. All right. Okay, let's go ahead. Stryker always sends awesome little letters and pictures and stuff. Okay, we got stuff coming up. What the heck? <laughs> okay, we got a picture. All right, we got Crouchy right here. And then on the other side, it looks like we have the Butcher. And, uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is his name? Um, the Butcher right there. And then, I can't think of what his name is. Uh... Lucky Bottoms, that's who it is. Lucky Bottoms on the top there. And then who's below him? Um, oh, that would be Mr. Dark below him. And Lord Farquaad to the left there. Or it might be right on your screen, I'm not sure. 
And then I'm not sure who this one down here is. <laughs> awesome pictures. Thank you, Striker. And look what we have here. It is a Lego skeleton with an axe. How cool is that guy? <laughs> okay, let's keep moving here. We got one more envelope and then we got two boxes, guys. This is a big envelope. And this one says it's from the Scullies. I think that's how you pronounce it, in Palmyra, New York. Let's go ahead and get this one open here. Okay. Oh my gosh, lots of stuff in here. Okay, let's see if we can just pour it out. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, more. Anything else in there? Alright, I think we got it all. So we have pictures. I'm just going to go down through how everything came out. So we have a trick-or-treat picture. Look how cool that is. That's classic, awesome trick-or-treaters. Vampire, Frankenstein, Black Cat, a mummy, and a pumpkin. Look at that. So very cool. Okay. Next up, we have... Oh, yeah. Look at that dino. It's an orange dino. You know, we had one of these before, and it's one of those that's like a black card, and you scratch out the picture. That's so cool. All right, we got a letter here. Dear Nate Guy, we've been watching your Halloween videos for years. We love Halloween and we watch all year round. We call you Daddy in the Halloween store. What the heck? <laughs> Our favorite animatronics are Crouchy, Charlie Bucket, Johnny Punk, Mr. Dark, and Peekaboo Clown. We also love the secret keeping cats. We have a black cat named Cricket. That is so cool. We hope you come to our local stores in Rochester, New York. We've recently been watching your Saturday Night Snack and a Movie videos, and we've been enjoying those too. Thanks so much for keeping us entertained. It helps our mommy and daddy maintain their sanity. <laughs> hope you enjoy our pictures from Emmy and Nikki. We hope you do more blind bag videos. I was thinking about doing more of those, and it looks like Emmy has signed the, uh, the letter there. Okay, so, oh, we have another picture here. That looks like a watercolor picture. All right, that's pretty cool. That looks like where you like take a white crayon and you draw a face and you can't see it yet until you paint over it. And then, uh, then it shows you the face. All right, look at this one. <laughs> it's crickets coming out of a pumpkin, so very cool. Okay, and then we have, here's a pumpkin craft made with a paper plate. Very cool. You gotta love the pumpkin craft. And then we have a couple other little things here. Okay, let's see. We have a sticker. Um, I'm not sure who that is. If you can see that right there. It's a pink bunny. <laughs> okay, and then we have a little pumpkin right here. And then we have a pumpkin guy right here. And then we have a, what do we have here? Ooh, a Pokemon card. Lapras? Lapras? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But there we go. It's a Pokemon card. Thank you guys so very much. I love every little bit of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this little box right here. And this is from Kimberly in Wintersville, Ohio. All right. Go ahead and get this open here. Okay, we got airbags, airbags, airbags. Oh, I'm excited, guys. Look at this. All right, hold on, don't look yet. We have a letter, we have pictures, and we have some goodies. I'm gonna put them up there so you can't see them yet. Okay, let's read the letter here first. Hi, Nate and Marion, my name is Matthew. My mom is helping me write this because I'm five. I'll be six very soon. I have a brother named Keith. He is eight and he has autism. He and I love watching your videos and going to Spirit Halloween stores. We came across these vintage Halloween Rax cups and immediately thought of you. Okay, so I'll show you in just a second. Oh, believe me, they're cool. They're worth the wait. Whew, I'm excited. We hope you enjoy the nostalgia of them. My mom says she has a cousin that worked at Rax many years ago. 
Now, let me just tell you guys, in case you don't know, in case you're new to the channel or anything, I worked at Rax when I was 16 and 17 years old, maybe even a little bit when I was 18. And so I absolutely love Rax. And uh, most of them are gone now. They knocked down the one that I worked at. And they have maybe three or four of them. There was one of them in Lancaster, Ohio, which I actually filmed. And then uh, I was on Tosh.0 oh because it was such a funny video. So that's just kind of a history of me and Rax. So, okay, let me keep reading and then I'll show you. I collect scary, creepy dolls from Spirit Halloween. As of now, I have an Annabelle doll. I also have a life-size Annabelle doll. I would be too scared of that. Talking Tiffany doll, Sinister Spirit doll, Decrepit Haunted Talking doll, Huggy Wuggy. We don't have a YouTube channel, but my mom is en enclosing some pictures of us and my collection. And I have the pictures here I'll show you in a second. I hope your family has a happy Easter. Also, happy Autism Awareness Month. P.S. My grandpa's birthday is on Halloween. So very cool. And this, again, is from Matthew. So, let me show you the the, uh, the cups here first. Oh, my gosh. How cool. These are the coolest thing ever. I don't see a date on them. Um, but here we go. This It's a Rax Halloween cup. Look at that. It says Rax on the top. And then we have Halloween-y pictures. And it says the Bewitching Hour. How cool is that oh my gosh i love it so much and there's two of them like how did you ever find these all right oh my gosh i love them so much okay and then we have some pictures here so um we have <laughs> we have the children on a lawnmower with the annabelle doll oh my gosh <laughs> matthew and keith with the life-size annabelle doll and then we have Matthew and his decrepit haunted talking doll. There we go. I think I call that one decrepit Donna in the stores. Then we have Matthew opening birthday gifts last year. And there is the, uh, the spooky doll. I can't think of what her name is. Antique roaming doll or something like that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that one can actually be seen in the Spirit Halloween movie. At one point, the guys are walking and they see it and they're all like... You know, they get kind of spooked by it. Uh, Mom as Gizmo, Keith as a pirate, Matthew as a boy that ate a werewolf. <laughs> a boy that ate a werewolf. There you go. Look at that. Check out those costumes. That is so cool. Matthew with his sinister spirit doll. That's what it's called. The sinister spirit doll. I called it the roaming antique doll. So very cool. Thank you guys so very much for those pictures, for the awesome letter. And, of course, the awesome Rax Cups. So very cool. All right, guys, we have one more package here. And uh, this one is from William. And I'm going to try not to show the address here. So let me open it off screen. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. William, how could you? It's so cool. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to show you as stuff comes out. So the first thing that comes out is this bag. And it's a Sam Trick or Treat Rules of Halloween bag. So very cool. I love it. I'm going to be able to store lots of fan mail in there. <laughs> or spirit Halloween things. Okay. Then, uh, let's see. All right, here we have an envelope. Let's see if there's a letter before I get into anything else. Because sometimes people like to describe what's in there and kind of explain, you know, whatever. So, okay. Oh, my gosh. Pictures. Holy crap. So cool. All right. Let's get to the letter here. Okay. <laughs> okay. There appears to be two letters here. I'm not sure. Let me read the one on the front here. Hi, Nate. Thanks so much for being a great role model for our son, William. Okay, I got it here. Our house loves your channel. This is the same William Gaming you shouted out in 2021 for Mr. Howell. Can't wait for 2023 Halloween. Thanks. The, and says their last name there. I'm not going to say their last name, though. Um, okay, so, and then William wrote a letter here. Hello, Nate. It's me, William Gaming. I've been watching you back in 2020. Your videos are fun, Saturday night movies, spirit Halloween. Thanks for shouting me out. 
I was not expecting my spirit is at... Oh, okay, and then he's got the address on the back. If you want to send me something, and he's got the address on the back, it will be dope if you got me props. <laughs> you don't have to. You are a great guy. Enjoy those decorations I gave you, because you deserve it. I would love you to react to my videos, and people watching this video ask Nate to do the same. Like me, maybe watch store videos. I'm working on concept art for your haunted house only in Ohio. Only in Ohio. <laughs> also, I hope you like those drawings. Take care, Nate. And that's from William. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we got here. This here, I believe, is William. Yes. All right. So there's William. And then let me show you this picture first. Oh, my gosh. That Nate guy on YouTube it's a picture of me, and I'm like a zombie or something, or I'm zombifying. How crazy is that? Oh my gosh, that's such a good picture. That is super spooky. <laughs> okay, and then we have Saturday Night Snack in a Movie, and this is like a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, we have one eye up here, and then we have the bald crouchy, which I called my son. We have popcorn, 3D glasses, um, half a head jack, the chains of death. We have punchy and it says bad words. <laughs> the spooky bricks, slap your mama, the orange witch hat. Oh my gosh, we got a burrito, Slimer with a butt on there. What are those Johnny Punk shoes? We got the Toys R Us logo down here, and the ghost face, and it says he had a bite mare. <laughs> Those pictures are awesome, William. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get back into the box here, because there's still a bunch of stuff in here. And we have, oh my gosh, it's like a Transformers car. What the heck? Look at this. It's blinking. It's a blinking Transformers car. Is it a Transformers car? That looks like the Transformers logo on the front, but I could be wrong. All right. Yeah, so you pull it back, and then when you let go, it goes rolling and it flashes. How cool is that? Okay. Next, we have what appears to be... Oh, okay, yeah. These are, um, like, banners that you stretch around your haunted house. Um, this one, I think, says, Enter If You Dare. Uh, this one says, Caution. And then this one says, Keep Out. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be good for uh, for decorations. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> it's a whole bag of change. What the heck? A whole bag of change. All right, I'll put that towards something awesome from Spirit. Okay, what else is in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have... What is this? Oh, look at this. I see. It's a creepy carnival uh, little entranceway thing. You hang it up and you have to walk through that. The spooky fabric. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have... Hold on, it's kind of twisted up here. Okay, we have a spooky black pumpkin bucket with red eyes. And then we have a hanging ghoul here. Oh, okay. He must need a new battery or something, but here he is, a spooky skeleton face. And he's got this spooky fabric, so you can hang him up. And I think with a new battery... Um, he will light up because he has like these wires in the back and they go to his eyes and stuff like that. So that is very, very cool. I don't, I think that's all. Yep, that's everything. That was awesome. Thank you so much, William Gaming. I appreciate everything you sent me and I appreciate everything that all of you have sent me. Give me just a second. I'm going to go check the mail and see if the other thing is here. Okay, unfortunately, that other thing is not here, so Carla, that will have to be in next week's show, um, but I will definitely get it, and I'll set it aside, and I will save it.
for next Fan Mail Friday. Okay, guys, thank you so very much for everything that you've sent me. If you want to send me something, the address is always down below in the description. It is a P.O. box here in Maslin. And I will open your stuff right here in the video on a Friday for Fan Mail Friday.